last time on Game Grumps. So what's your name? Yuri. I'm Sayori, and this is Monica. Our names are kind of similar. Yuri, Sayori, Sayori, Yuri. <laughs> if we were friends, we could be the couple of Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get them for you. Oh, you probably only need to bring one for now. I'll bring them all. <laughs> <laughs> It's all of Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time. I'll see you in three years when you're halfway done. It's club time again! <laughs> <laughs> Monica comes out of the closet with like a sock full of soap bars. <laughs> what does vindicated mean? Oh, uh, well, in this contest, it, context, it essentially means that he was proven innocent. Such as... People didn't believe me when I said the world was flat, but then I was vindicated, because it is. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump, I'm not so Grump, and we're the Game Grumps! Snow glows white on mountain tonight, <laughs> not footprint to be seen. Hey, welcome back! Let it go, <laughs> let it go. <laughs> Can't hold it back anymore! <laughs> let it go, let it go. Go, turn away, slam the door! I don't care! Alright. Oh, Ryori's relaxed yeah. expression <laughs> remains unchanged. Meanwhile, Sayori's expression grows tense. And she tries to make her way through the dense text. Up until now, their expression- Up until now, the only thing dense about this situation was Sayori. <laughs> Their expressions had been reversed, with Sayori easily navigating social situations and Yuri struggling in them. But the tables have turned. Oh, how the turntables. Why are you turning the tables, Yuri? <laughs> Wait, are they talking about the past right now or the present? Where? Right here. Right now. <laughs> They're talking about the past. These paragraphs are describing a flashback that Barnas is having. But they didn't tell me that. <laughs> It's implied from the context. But I'm <laughs> stupid! <laughs> ah! Sayori rubs her temples. This is where I worship. The two of them, <laughs> <laughs> the two of them continue, stupid. with Sayori asking fewer questions. She begins to understand the value in the notes, as she finds herself referring to them somewhat often, and even adding to them. <laughs> I hate this! <laughs> But her reduction in questions comes not from her getting used to the reading, but rather from her fearing that she'll come across as stupid. She does. <laughs> At last, Sayori reaches the end of the chapter. Did we really need a screen wipe for that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's just like covered in sweat, like... <laughs> <laughs> Hours later! <laughs> I think we should go home! <laughs> I think we can stop here for now. Okay! Okay! <laughs> Page one. I'll just put this bookmark in. <laughs> Sayori takes a deep breath and closes what little of the book she's gotten through so far. So what are your thoughts up to this point? I like the title. <laughs> um. Sayori tries to find words. Am I doing well so far? Hmm? I'm not sure I understand. Well, I don't know. When it takes me so long to read and understand things, it makes me feel really dumb. <laughs> but I really like how you get into it, how into it you get. It makes me want to keep going and to keep doing my best so I can see it the way that you do. Fred. <laughs> the relaxation in Yuri's expression fades. I see. I hear. Yuri quietly gathers her things. I speak. We can continue tomorrow, right? No, you've upset me. Yuri pauses and shakes her head. Yuri pauses and shakes her head. We can do something else tomorrow. But hey! I'm sorry. Wait, sorry for what? No, I'm sorry! <laughs> Wait, this is like a competition to see who's more sorry! <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this anymore. That's all. I'm sorry that I made you. Fred? Finally! <laughs> Thank you, oh my god! Yuri leaves. You weren't making me... Sayori is left alone with her words. It's just you and me words. <laughs> to me words in this book. How did this happen? We were having fun just a second ago. I was never having fun! 
It's my fault. I said something stupid and hurt her. I should have just told her that I enjoyed it. But you did. Yeah. Why don't you trust me with this? <laughs> I ruined it! Now our cult will never reach ascension! <laughs> It's the only thing I'm good at, and I still messed it up! What if she doesn't want to come back? Drowned in guilt, Sayori stares blankly at her desk, spread with notes. The book sits next to them. The notes, I mean. Right! <laughs> if she wasn't coming back, then she wouldn't have left the book here, right? Unless she just forgot to take it with her. Oh, this is horrible! <laughs> My eyes have become sideways knees! <laughs> Was it really because I thought she thought I wasn't enjoying our time together? I mean, I wasn't, but I but thought I was doing a good job convincing her. Or maybe she wasn't enjoying our time together because I'm not good enough. Man, fuck her! <laughs> 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 so who doesn't need her anyway! Oh my god. I probably let her down so much by having trouble following along. Yeah, I'm sure if I was smarter, she would be having so much more fun. This is making my head hurt. <laughs> I need to do better for her. Bye! Whoa. Oh. Se All right. Second part of- Understanding. Understanding? Part, yeah. Yep, okay. part two. Begin this side story. Yes. Yes. Begin! <laughs> Fight! <laughs> bam, 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 just the whole time this is playing. Dun, 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 Kano. <laughs> Liu Kang. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry! Mortal Kombat! <laughs> Johnny Cage. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time, Sayori is the first to enter the classroom. Anxiety courses through her relentlessly. She eats it. <laughs> she should really <laughs> stop eating. <laughs> Will Yuri show up today? Sitting at a desk, she stamps her feet in an attempt to calm down. Why am I letting this affect me so much? Stamp, stamp. <laughs> I'm doing everything I can to make Yuri happy. But my best wasn't good enough. But it was still my best! Looks like I have to try my worst now! <laughs> <laughs> she was like, hello, she's like, fuck off! <laughs> Did that work? But I'm letting everyone down. I'm always just a disappointment. Stamp, stamp, stamp. <laughs> Sayori continues to wrestle with her self-deprecating thoughts. Every tiny noise causes her to lift her head in anticipation of Yuri's arrival. Ha! <laughs> no. Ha! Uh -oh. Minutes pass, but nobody enters the classroom. It's club room. Club room, not Yuri or Monica. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. Gosh, I am so late. Why did I offer to help those other students with their work? I hate helping people. I'm such a pushover sometimes. I think I'll kill them first. <laughs> it's going to leave such a bad impression on the new club members like Yuri if I'm not the first one there. Monica rounds the corner, approaching the club room. As she does so, Yuri! <laughs> Three PO. <laughs> uh. Yuri jumps at the sound of Monica's voice. She's sitting outside the club room, against the wall, next to the door, over by the window, next to the book thing. Embarrassed, she quickly closes the book she was reading and stands up. Next to the door, in front of the window, next to the billboard, <laughs> down the hall. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I am Lord. I was running down the hall next to the window in front of the bookshelf. <laughs> you didn't have to wait outside for me. The door to the classroom is open. It's not. Uh, but it is. <laughs> Yuri stammers, unable to explain herself. She peers inside the club room through the window, then looks away. Actually, I was just... I was wondering if I could help you today instead. Duh! <laughs> me? With pl club blablet punk plug publicity stuff. <laughs> Clublicity. It's a name I came up with. Isn't it cute? Anyway, I'm just gonna take this knife. <laughs> yes. Monica is utterly confused. Oh, Monica is utterly confused. Why is Yuri asking this all of a sudden? Why does she want things when she was so eager to spend time with Sayori before? Did they fight? <laughs> Did they not? Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Fatality. Did they not get along after all? 
Did Yuri pull out Sayori's spine? <laughs> Monica looks into the club room herself to see Sayori sitting alone inside. No, that was more the old Doki Doki. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a simple job, but I'd be happy for you to tag hello. Me too. Mo Monica is worried, but she finds it difficult to insert herself into a floppy drive. <laughs> It's a little ironic, she realizes, that she could be so confident of conflict avoidant after having been in the debate club. These are meant for five and a quarter floppies, and I am a three and a half. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> okay, let's take a walk together. I just have to make copies of this new flyer, then go around to the billboards and replace the old ones with the new ones. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Yuri nods, and the two set off. I say, saw Sayori in the club room. Ah, she's fine. Okay. <laughs> the two walk in silence. Without Sayori, Monica finds it quite difficult to strike up conversation. So, how's everything been going? Fine. That's good. Neither of them follow up with anything more. Monica tenses up at the stinted conversation. Maybe they meant stunted. How the. Is stinted a word? Stinted? Like, I know that, like, I had a stint. Like, oh yeah, I did a stint of- in, Oh, in yes. Football or Let's whatever. Say. Stinted. Stint. Supply an ungenerous or inadequate amount of something. Well, I guess, maybe. Oh, wow. Huh. Alright, I learned something. Uh, how the heck does Sayori do it? Ah, sorry, I didn't see you yesterday. I went straight into the computer lab to work on the flyers. Mm-hmm. Sayori told me. She's talking about me. What did you two end up doing yesterday? Just some reading. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad. It's really starting to feel more like a literature club now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. It's kind of funny. I felt so intimidated at first when I heard about the kind of reading you were into. But you know, it's kind of stupid of me. But now that I know that your relationship with Sayori fell apart over it... <laughs> I love it! <laughs> because I'm just intimidated by things I'm not good at. And it's silly to assume that everyone who comes to the club will just have the same interests as me. World domination. <laughs> but it's so cool that you were able to get Sayori into it. It's like the club is working. I'm really happy about that. She's... I'm into it. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's not into it, and I'm stupid for forcing it onto her. Yuri falls silent as if she started her thought but can't figure out how to continue it. Did something happen? Yuri sighs. <sighs> no, it's just me. God, what did you eat? Cheese? <laughs> no, it's anxiety. <laughs> I just... Yuri pauses. They were out of pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking... Finish thinking! <laughs> A moment passes in silence that Yuri shakes her head. I have had eight million thoughts in the time it took you to have one. <laughs> I shouldn't be complaining to you all of a sudden. Don't be silly. I won't think you're complaining. If you don't complain! <laughs> I just want to make sure you feel welcome. If it's important to that, then you can tell me anything. Well, I do feel welcome. Too welcome, I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not an issue with the club, it's just an issue with me. So I feel wrong to inconvenience you with it. Ah! Do you need a tissue for your issue? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Monica pauses and thinks. I think much faster than you. Well, what if we put it this way? It's my job as president to understand the needs of the club members, right? And to execute those who fall out of line. <laughs> We're going to have all kinds of people joining this club, hopefully, anyway. And learning about the diverse needs and interests of everyone will help me come up with the club activities that everyone can be happy with. So, show up or die. <laughs> that everyone can be happy with? Not just only some people? Duh, of course. I need to be looking out for everyone. Otherwise, what kind of club would it be? Like, like all clubs, probably. <laughs> I see. Yuri looks a little more relaxed. Good. 
Her defenses are down. <laughs> Prepare execution.exe. <laughs> it signals to Monica that switching from a sympathetic approach to a pragmatic one was a good choice. Switching modes. <laughs> Seriously. Each individual truly does have their own needs. Okay. Yuri takes a deep breath. <laughs> I'm a really weird and awkward person. I've accepted that about myself. Yes. I just- <laughs> I just don't know how to, I guess, connect with other people. Yes. How is it so easy for everyone else? How do you just make conversation about any arbitrary topic? Because we're good. I can talk for hours about the things that I'm into. Unfortunately, so much that I don't know when to stop. But for anything else, I just have no idea what to say. That's actually kind of relatable. Yeah. So, I understand that about myself. I'm just not good with people. I can't help it. So it feels like whenever I'm confronted with a new social situation, I'm either ignored or made fun of or taken pity on. Oh, sorry, what? I was looking at Twitter. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> and Sayori falls into that third category. She- What? Hold on. You're saying that Sayori is taking pity on you? Where is she? <laughs> Yuri nods. I just want to be treated like a normal person. If you don't like me or don't connect with my interests, then just tell me. I can accept that and move on. Sayori is too nice to me. I'm so stupid for not realizing that she would just go along with whatever I pushed on to her. I knew she wouldn't understand the ice wall theory. <laughs> I don't even know what that one is. It's so all the water doesn't fall off the side of the flat earth. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, nobody deserves to put themselves through that kind of discomfort just because, because they pity some weirdo who doesn't know how to make friends. It's the worst feeling. I hate it. So get over it. Bye. <laughs> Yuri's sharp words cut through the tense air. Then she eats the air. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle of the conversation, the two stop short in the hallway, prioritizing the conversation over their original task. Monica looks at Yuri. Yuri only looks down with her fists clenched. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Kano. <laughs> Liu Kang. Oh, what's going on? Johnny Cage. <laughs> Sonya. Ah, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I think you should tell her that. <laughs> I could never say that to someone's face. It's pathetic. Why you not? Just did though. <laughs> just run in and say, Mortal Kombat! <laughs> Do -do 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 Sayori is different. Making people happy is the most important thing to her. I'm sure that's all she's trying to do. So if you're able to explain to her what makes you happy, then she'll do anything to make it happen. That's the problem. What kind of friendship has one person always trying to cater to the other person's weird needs? Well, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making myself sound so- No! I think I'm starting to understand. Monica! <laughs> Sub Zero. <laughs> Monica hesitates to finish her thought out loud. It's something that Sayori would be able to say later. Sayori is someone who will give anyone however much kindness they need in order to smile. But Yuri, who has difficulty accepting kindness, must be driving Sayori to be even more assertive in her kindness, further exacerbating the matter. <laughs> I wonder what that guy's doing now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he just yells that, like, if the supermarket's out of the type of apple that he wants? <laughs> no, he's sick. Do you have any Red Delicious? No. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> I'll have the number six! <laughs> no fries, please! Dun 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 dun. Test your might. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many sauce packets? Seven. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right. But for, yes. Oh, I already read this. Further exacerbating the matter. Neither person is to blame. She caught you exacerbating. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You get in trouble for that. Neither person is to blame, but it's an issue that can't be resolved without them understanding each other better. Sayori wants to be your friend. I promise that. 
It's okay for different people to have different needs. I mean, Sayori, she has her own needs too. Uh, really? <laughs> Potatoes. Oh yeah. No, that's Natsuki. That's Natsuki. Natsuki. Come on now. Uh, uh, but good friends work together and can be what they need for each other. You just have to have good communication <laughs> and talk about it. Sorry, I'm having issues over here. I don't have good communication. Then work on your antenna! <laughs> <laughs> Yuri stops and shakes her head. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. My head is just, it's so resistant to everything. I'm, I'm pushing such a kind person away from me because of it. Yuri, Yuri pauses to think. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so tired of this cycle I'm creating for myself. I think I'm so afraid of people pushing me away that I just push them away first. How thoughtless and immature of me. <laughs> I know. Yuri takes a deep breath and exhales. <laughs> I'm like Clifford, the big red self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to turn into a whole venting session. But I understand now that I just need to communicate with her. Don't worry, I'm venting all the time. <laughs> venting complete. <laughs> You're totally fine. <laughs> it's for the club, remember? You're just helping make the club a better place for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri falls silent again. She looks like she wants to say something. Did you just vent gas from your neck? This <laughs> this kind of critical thinking is something that I'm really bad at. Well then what are you good at? You know, about people. So thank you. Anytime. Monica smiles at Yuri, or what could be approximated as one. <laughs> For just a moment, Yuri finds it in herself to meet Monica's gaze, returning a shy smile of her own. They kiss? <laughs> Please. Don't rule 34 this. It already exists, I assure <laughs> mm -hmm. you. Yuri and Monica finished replacing the old flyers with the new ones. Not that I've checked. <laughs> I just know the you internet. You just know. I, you, obviously. Of course, obviously. More accurately, Monica mostly did the work while Yuri followed along. But as the club room once again draws near, so does Yuri's confrontation. <laughs> More! No. I can't do this. <laughs> yes, you can! It'll be great. Yuri sighs and shakes her head. I'm never gonna feel confident enough. I just have to do it. <laughs> For some reason in my mind, it's like, Yuri shakes her head, I thought like, <laughs> <laughs> If I don't do it now, I never will. Yuri starts towards the door, but then turns to face Monica. Fuck you, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> You're not just going to wait outside, are you? Of course. <laughs> I can take a walk. Want me to get you a coffee or something? Actually, I prefer tea. Well, there's just no right answers with you, is there? <laughs> I like to make my own, though, so please don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Although I suppose that's one downside of reading here in the club rather than at home. I don't get to drink tea while reading. See how I turned your nice offer into a shutdown and then a complaint about my life? <laughs> hmm. You know, now that you mention it, I bet we could get permission to keep stuff for tea in the club room. You could use, like, an electric kettle to heat up water, right? Would that really be possible? I mean, that's what they do. Yeah, I mean, it's like the most possible thing in the world. <laughs> I'll look into it. I think it would be great. Do, do you think this door could really open? <laughs> <laughs> Yuri smiles and nods at the thought. What are you smiling and nodding at? <laughs> oh, the thought. <laughs> Well, I'll be back in a bit. Good luck. Monica waves at Yuri, then turns around and departs down the hallway as Yuri's smile fade once more. A moment of daydreaming about tea isn't enough to save her from the anxiety of the task that lies before her. Anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> but it must be done. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> do, do you think his wife is constantly like getting annoyed at him because he's just done it for 30 years? <laughs> Like, mortal- Jimmy! Sorry. What? No! <laughs> she just gives him the hard stare. Stop! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We've talked about this. We've talked about this. I told you that. <laughs> Not at church. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 
All right, taking one more deep breath, Yuri timidly opens the ba club room door. Did you want to say bathroom door? What did I? For no reason? I don't know. Yay! If anyone has any objections now, speak now or forever hold your peace. Oh yeah, Jimmy, I swear to God. <laughs> Don't he, like slowly stands up. <laughs> Jimmy, do you have something to say? <laughs> yes. Amen. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'm not done yet. I just looked at it on your phone. I love that the video is titled in all caps Mortal Kombat! <laughs> Exclamation mark. Lowercase scream. Yeah, what else would it be? <laughs> I'm not dead yet! Sayori shuffles a bunch of papers around. Um... <laughs> my vice president paperwork! Oh my god, papers are how we got into this mess! Yuri stammers, her words suddenly caught her in- caught in her throat. <laughs> At that moment, she realizes she's choking! <laughs> As Sayori has been spending her afternoon. Hopefully when the anxiety comes up, it'll <laughs> carry the words out with it. I wasn't expecting you to- I wasn't expecting you to come today! I wasn't really- I was really hoping you'd make it all the way through the next chapter first! Wait, the first chapter, next! But I got most of the way through it! And look! I- I- I only kind of cried on the paper! <laughs> Sayori holds up a sheet of paper. It's a page of notes, beautifully produced with indentations, categories, and even color coding! As Yuri sees it, her expression shifts from anxiety to despair. Oh. Mm, well. <laughs> That's a bit of a lateral move. <laughs> I was afraid you were getting disappointed in me, so I've been trying really hard. Stop. Yuri presses her fists against her forehead at great speed. <laughs> Please stop. I can't take this. Yuri? Sayori's voice quivers in shock after having received the exact opposite response she was expecting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry! Oh, we're doing this again, huh? Yeah. Sayori looks away in guilt. Did I do something wrong? I don't understand, so if I did something wrong, please tell me. Are my notes not colorful enough? <laughs> You're Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> Yuri shakes her head. <laughs> no, it's me. I keep putting myself in these situations where people are afraid to treat me normally. If you don't like this kind of reading, it's okay. Please just tell me. I'm in the fucking literature club! <laughs> I don't need to be treated differently just because I'm weird. But I don't treat you differently. <laughs> I treat you with fake kindness just like I treat everyone else! <laughs> I'm always this overbearing. <laughs> I just want my friends to be happy. So I thought that if we did something together that you really like... I don't want your pity! Fred! Why did I do that? I don't know. Why did you do that? Yuri sinks to her knees. Her voice squeaks. I'm sorry. Tears of guilt and self-loathing begin to stream down her face. This isn't how it was supposed to go. Yeah, that's me. You might be wondering. Why is it so hard just to articulate your thoughts? Why do you end up pushing everyone away from you? Yuri's mind pounds with internal accusations as she shuts her eyes, unable to face Sayori or the rest of the world. She should leave. Just escape from here, before Monica sees her like this, and before Sayori tells Monica what she did, and before Monica's like, What the hell did you do? <laughs> but before Yuri could put any strength into her legs, she feels a warm pair of arms gently wrap around her from behind. Monica! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> They're Jax's metal arms. <laughs> and a second set of arms. No, it's Kano! <laughs> it's okay! Sayori whispers in a soothing voice. It's okay. It's okay. Goro. Goro's the one with four arms. Yes. Overcome by despair, Yuri finds herself- Whoa, Wait, she turns around! It's not Goro! It's Kintaro! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Yuri finds herself unable to protest or pull away from Sayori's kind gesture. Yuri sniffles, breathing heavily through a clenched throat, trying with all her willpower to control herself. I understand. I understand. 
understand that the things you're feeling in your head are different from the things you're trying to say. I know that must be what you're feeling right now. I promise I understand that. But don't worry. I don't need to come over here. I'm already here. What? Because it's like scorpions. Like, go oh, oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you as much time as you need. When you're ready, just tell me your feelings and we'll talk about them together, okay? Yuri sniffles again and nods her head. She gives herself a minute to compose her thoughts, then speaks while steadying her voice. T toasty! <laughs> 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 I, th I think I think that I've gotten so used to people being weirded out by me that it feels like anyone who's nice to me is just doing it out of pity. I'm so horrible with people, so it makes me not want to believe that someone can actually like me for who I am. Yuri pauses, but Sayori doesn't interrupt. Rather, she waits for Yuri to continue. She knows what she's gonna say. <laughs> Man, like, I understand the psychology behind this, and in real life it must be pain so painful to deal with, but man, after getting used to these characters being so insane and so creepy, mm -hmm. and like, just terrible things happening to them, this is really like, throwing my brain for a loop. Oh uh, yeah, oh, it's very sweet what's happening right now. Yeah, it's just hard, it's just hard to switch gears in my head. It's like if Mario was like, I don't want to fight plumbers and turtles anymore. I'm moving to the city. <laughs> I, got, I got so excited when I joined the literature club. But a Princess Peach, mm. I, I thought that there was going to be a cake. Yeah, I'm going to save Zelda now. <laughs> I, I thought that it was finally my chance to make friends through my interests. Because my interests are the only things I know how to talk about. It's all I have going for me. But then whenever I catch myself getting overly obsessive in front of other people, it feels like I'm making a fool of myself. Well, you are for the most part. I hate myself for it. Ultimately, I just want to be treated like a normal person, but how am I supposed to expect that when I can't behave like one? I just want to learn how to get along with people and stop ruining things for myself. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> oh, what? Sorry? Sorry? <laughs> Yuri finishes her thoughts, feeling more steady after having gotten them out. Sayori, who can feel Yuri's breath rise and fall from beneath her arms, realizes that as well. You're choking! <laughs> <laughs> the Heimlich Maneuver. <laughs> Thank you for helping me understand you a little bit better. One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> you know you were so great at helping me with what we were reading. So I'll help you with the things that you need too. Like that chicken bone stuck in your neck. <laughs> yeah. You need to stop eating so much anxiety. <laughs> but I feel like it would just be frustrating for you with how much patience I require sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds kind of familiar. I couldn't stop worrying about that while we were reading. I was so afraid you'd get frustrated with me. But I would never do that. I did my best to reassure you by mentioning how I have a lot of patience. Yeah, I know, but my irrational fears just won't be quiet sometimes. Oh! I thought you were saying you're a doctor! <laughs> Silly me! I'm sure it's the same for you, right? Uh, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go with that. Irrational fears. Mine are rational! The hell are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know. Sorry, my voice changed for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sorry. There's no way you can I wasn't doing an impression of you or anything. There's no way you can frustrate me. Oh, there's no way you can frustrate me. Because I already like you as the person that you are. I know you said you have a hard time believing that, but I promise that it's true. Fred. You don't have to be a social person for people to like you. I think you really consider it in your own way, you know? Worrying so much about people's feelings. We're all kind of weird. It's a literature club. Who the fuck reads books? <laughs> but it's the best part that we're all different and have different interests. Like about the book. I thought it was stupid, but you like it. <laughs> For instance, <laughs> you have dumb interests. <laughs> I'm reading it because I want to. I promise. That's what I really want. It's a bit of a struggle, but try not to mistake that for me not enjoying it. 
I mean, we can never discover new things if we didn't try them first, right? I want to learn the reasons that you love it so much. And in the end, if it's not for me, then I can say that. But I'll be glad that I tried it and learned more about you. <gasps> Plus, you're like super duper smart and I want that to rub off on me. <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs> Please let go of me. <laughs> Yuri fights back a smile at that comment. Already, the heavy atmosphere surrounding her seems to have evaporated through the caress of Sayori's arms. <laughs> seems the hyperbolic time chamber has lowered the gravity levels. <laughs> Your hair is so pretty. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. No, keep going. Didn't mean to break the mood. <laughs> you didn't ruin anything. <laughs> I would spotted long hair, but I was awful at taking care of it, <laughs> so I cut it all off. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Just ignore that. <laughs> See the skirt kind of vibrate, you know? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yuri's tension relaxes. <laughs> well, you are relaxed. <laughs> Go ahead. Let it all out. <laughs> you know, you really have some pretty good farts. I mean, my farts are better. No, my farts are better. <laughs> 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 uh, Holy shit. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> For once, she feels okay just listening rather than worrying so much about saying the right thing. <laughs> Sayori, sensing Yuri's comfort by the smell wafting in the air, <laughs> lets her rest. It must be so difficult for her to feel relaxed around other people. <laughs> her butthole all open. And <laughs> oh my god. But if the Let It Lead Her Club can make it happen, then it's something that she deserves to experience. Oh, that was so nice. <laughs> oh, there's an addendum. Uh, yeah. Addendum. <laughs> well then. Based on my understanding of your feelings, I suppose I wouldn't mind if we were to continue reading. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. But we could stop at any time. If you truly don't like it, please be honest about it. I won't be offended. Of course. <laughs> well, thank you, because I hate it. I'm not going to judge anything this early on, though, so we'll just see what happens. Oh, and... <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not good to touch people without their consent first. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love it. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> I consented with my farts. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it was kind of nice. I was just saying. I'm back. Oh my god, what is that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Monica's back. I haven't seen you like at all recently. Sayori trots over to Monica. <laughs> <laughs> she whispers loudly. Can I hug you? <laughs> sure, Sayori. That is what humans do. <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around Monica. Oh, yeah. Yuri, it might be good to know. You're fired. <laughs> Sayori can be kind of a hug monster. <laughs> uh. Hey, don't call me a monster. <laughs> Sorry. Artemis is a monster. If he inherits the kingdom, it could spell disaster. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> Yuri laughs. Monica perplexedly looks between the two of them, then smiles. Well, I'm glad you've been enjoying your reading so far, and you have all these inside jokes without me. It's like our first real activity is the literature club. Uh, about that. I'm leaving. <laughs> Well, you've been so patient with exploring my interests. I think that it would be inconsiderate of me not to return the favor to you and learn about the things that you like. Yes! Oh my god! Do you like poetry? No. 
No. <laughs> Yuri smiles. That's the end, right? Yay! Yay! Oh my god, that was ridiculous. <laughs> so many Mortal Kombat farts. <laughs> Test your might. All right, goodbye everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Yay. I'm gonna kiss your baby on the lips, red on the lips. I'm gonna kiss you.